Good morning and hello to everyone. I hope you had a lovely day yesterday. The opening card that we have for today is the Three of Wands. So we're feeling like we have some sense of the direction that we're wanting to go, but we have some reluctance, likely because there's this huge body of water in front of us. It's like we're imagining all of the different situations that we might get into and it's kind of putting these hurdles in front of us as far as being able to move in that direction. You can see the person in this card has one wand in their hand and they have two wands behind them. So there's kind of like these two anchors behinding up, behind us that are tying us from being able to really move forward in that direction. But the message in this card is to keep moving forward, even despite your hesitation, because help will be there to support you. Consider that out in that sea, there are a number of ships, so we shouldn't ever consider that we are doing everything on our own without any help from the universe. It's actually very much uh, woven in such a way that there are people and situations that can help guide us through this terrain we call life. The challenge that we're facing today is the chariot or the charioteer. So this is a major arcana card. It's this sense of like, well, I know I want to go there, but my desire nature kind of pulls me in this direction, away from the direction that I really feel like I need to go. So this is a reminder that we need to have discipline and that sometimes having discipline is our greatest challenge to have control over our own desire nature and these like different pulls that we get, you know, from our own nature into these different directions. They can sometimes pull us off of our course. And that's what the charioteer is reminding us to do is to Make sure we have discipline, we have a plan, and that we stay to that course and we keep, we have our mind, keep our emotional nature and our desire nature, you know, in course. The ultimate way we're going to get through that challenge is another major arcana. We have the Hanged Man card. Now, if we look at this card, we can see that this person is kind of bound upside down. And they're looking at things from a different vantage point. And this, so this is a card that's all about yielding, right? Like we can't force the apple tree to fruit in the springtime if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. There's a certain amount of understanding that has to happen and also, you know, allowing things to happen. So, you know, to yield to things that show up in your day to day and to deal with them in a present manner is really important because, you know, we don't always get control over situations. Sometimes we do feel bound and it means that things are in motion. Now, what's so interesting about this card is that it is ruled by Neptune and Neptune is all about our dreams and it can also be like elusive because our dreams have a depth to them. We don't always get to define them, even though we're called to them. Now consider that N Neptune has been in retrograde for a number of months and it's going to turn direct here in a couple of days. So where you've been kind of reviewing your own dreams and aspirations in even a spiritual sense and felt like you haven't really been able to move forward in that, things will be shifting and this energy will be changing in the coming days. We also have a solar eclipse that's happening on the 4th of December. So that will also likely create some big shifts for people because that um, is going to be new moon and the sun both in Sagittarius. The ultimate outcome for today is the four of wands. And that's pretty encouraging when you consider that, you know, the three of wands, it's not super stable. Like there's still this motion of like going out and attaining something. Whereas the four of wands has this sense of stability because it's a number four and it's stable efforts, stabilized efforts that allow you to, you know, decide when it's time to rest and when it's time to actually go out into the world. This card is all about safety and security. And so it's reminding us that, you know, we have to consider that when we're going out and making all these shifts and changes. And while we may be reluctant you know, we may be hesitant to move in some of these directions because it's not like sure. Like oftentimes we can be our greatest limitation by those things, like how we paint the world. You know, we can paint those limitations in front of us. And this is reminding us that we are moving in a direction that will be creating security and safety in our lives. And so 
it's also encouraging us to stabilize our efforts in that way instead of, you know, taking ourselves always off course. So it comes down to that discipline that is, you know, being called forth in the chariot and the charioteer and also a bit of yielding to the situation itself with the hanged man. I hope you all have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend. I will be reaching out over the weekend, but I'm also traveling to do some work. So if you want a reading or to schedule something in the coming week, feel free to reach out to me at rootsofalchemy at gmail.com or to send me some kind of message and we'll set up some time. You can also check out my other services and offerings on my website, rootsofalchemy.com. And then I also make an assortment of different uh, manifesting orbs that help people bring their dreams into reality in all sorts of different styles and designs. You can see them in my gallery of orbs on my website. And then you can also reach out to me and I'll send you a link to the items that I currently have available. I send you a lot of love and a good wish to get you through the day. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Mwah.